Lovely. It's your boy, Ranked Mountain Bike here, and today I'm checking out a free ride course that I didn't even know existed until like a week ago. And it's actually at Brushy Creek, which I ride at all the time, but nobody, nobody told me that this was here. It's not on Trail Forks, it's not on Mountain Bike Project, but it's definitely the coolest course at Brushy Creek. And I actually only found out about it because someone commented on my video about it. So big shout out to the Single Track Rangers who told me where to find the free ride section at Brush Creek. And luckily, once I got in the general area, I found some other mountain bikers who were willing to show me where the free ride section was, which is super dope. And if you have a super epic place that you'd like me to go ride, especially one that has some gnarly jumps and stuff, you should leave in the comments below, and I will do my best to go check it out at some point. The free ride section is actually at the end of a larger trail called snail trail which is a very boring trail but it does have some cool scenery at the beginning of it it's right next to the ymca but the trail itself is pretty flat and boring much like my ex-girlfriend so i didn't really pay too much attention to it also like my ex-girlfriend which is probably why she dumped me oh well her loss but anyway let's get to the jumps So after hitting the jump for a little bit, I actually found some super sketchy rock rolls that were kind of off to the side. Not not super well marked, I don't know if they were in the progress of building or if they're too sketchy that nobody rides them. But I said screw it, let's hit it, it looks cool. Okay, my line is there, through there, got it. Sunday. So after successfully completing the rock rolls, I was feeling pretty confident with myself and I decided to check out one of the big drops that they have here. Now this drop looked pretty sketchy and was pretty big, so uh, I decided to do some, some quick mass to figure out what my chances of survival would be if I were to hit this drop. So from looking at this drop, I think I have roughly about a 50% chance of survival and then hitting the step up maybe about a, a 50 
percent chance of doing it correctly so if i add that up that gives me a hundred percent chance of survival if i hit both of these so uh that, that sounds pretty good to me i'm gonna i'm gonna try it you know, a wise man once told me the only way to progress is to send some stupid shit that was man it was me wow. So after hitting it the first time, this drop still seemed super sketchy to me. So the only way to fix that problem is to hit it a bunch more times and then also hit the step up that comes right after the drop. And that's what I did. It's a wee bit janky though. So you may have noticed this drop and I've been going around it because it's super sandy. I guess about probably 15, 20 feet to landing. And then the step up behind it, the landing isn't finished yet. So I have to basically hit this and then slam on the brakes not to fly over the step up, which I don't want to do. So uh, we're going to leave that until next time. Now I would also like to mention that there is this drop, which I'm not going to hit today because it's ridiculous. This is like at least 15 feet of to death. And that's, this thing is like, it looks janky. I don't like it. I'm going to hit it tomorrow. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video for me. Uh, if you want to know how to get to this place, I will leave directions in the description below, so check that out. And if you like the video, make sure to like the video, obviously, and also consider subscribing. I have new videos that come out every Monday at about noon Central Standard Time, so. And I may be coming back to this place, possibly, and hitting some of the jumps that I didn't hit the first time. So look forward to that, and now as always, you gotta go hard to get hard. Thanks for watching.